Good morning, crafters. Welcome to the How to Craft Network channel. It's a beautiful morning. I hope you're all up bright, breezy and sprightly this morning because I've got some stinking shows for you all this morning. Simon is in the building. First one, and we're going to go out with a complete bang. I really hope you're having a fabulous day so far. I hope the sun is shining. Let me know about the weather. Simon will catch up on all the comments and say hello shortly. My name is Tony Darrick, and this is a studio where you can come and see a smiley face as always, get some inspiration and chat with your lovely friends and family. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. This gives us a wider reach and it also allows you as a subscriber to follow us on our family journey. There is also that little bell which will give you that half an hour notice. Now we're all smiling, we're all happy and we're all giddy kippers. Who's got a Kit Kat? Who's got a piece of cake? What Have we had our cereal? What have we had? Oh, I've had, what have I had this morning? I haven't had anything actually, a coffee yet. I'll get something after the show though. It's somebody's birthday today as well. It's Emma's birthday. She said she's 25. Not a chance. We'll speak to her later about that. So I have a lovely show lined up for you today. If you've just come to say hi and catch the inspiration, we do welcome you to our channel. But equally, we do sell products as well. And I will go down the counter very quickly and show you what we have in the show with the fabulous Simon today. Now, Simon is part of the Stamps By Me brand. He's got his own thing going on. And we will chat to him in a second and say good morning. He's had a busy week. He's been at Paw Sunlight with us. He's been on training courses for his job as well. So we are very grateful that he is here this morning. He nearly wasn't. We'll talk about that as well, hey? So let's have a look what's in our fabulous show. We'll do a shout out for you all as well when we get to the other side. Sam, Simon's got some fabulous demos for you all, but let's have a look at the first item on the counter. Now we haven't done a goodie bag for have a go before, not like this anyway. So it's a little bit different today. It's a stinker. So if you are thinking to yourself, do you know what? I've never tried have a go. Today would be a great starting point. But if equally, if you have a few of Simon's designs, Maybe um, you might want to have a look at what's going on today. Now, I'm going to show you what's in the bag. The contents may vary slightly, but in the bag, you will get three stamps and coordinating dies. You will get two A5 stamps and you will get two stencils. And I've also got a Brucey bonus for you as well. So you will get all of those three things, but the designs might be different. Let me show you an example in the bag that I have on the counter. So say, for instance, you get three stamps and die sets in this bag and one's an owl and one's a dinosaur. In your bag, you may get the elephant or, or the farmyard animals or something like that. So the item number for the... We do not have lots of these, ladies and gents. 100477. We are limited on Simon's designs. We don't order thousands of Simon's designs. So it is what it is. When they're gone, they're absolutely gone. We have some new designs coming through for Simon as well, moving into the summer months. So 100477. So let's show you what's in this bag. Oh, it's a corking bag. £151.19 value today. HTCN 59.99. If you are in the club, 56.99. And if you are an entrepreneur or craft room with accrued and all of those points, you're going to get a further 10, 15, or 20% off for spending with us already. So you do the maths here. This on its own, the one that I have in my hand, is £30. 29.99. I'll show you. So in this bag, we have the lovely dinosaurs and look at this. Coordinating dies, ladies and gents. Absolutely incredible. So we have this one. And we have some amazing owls. Better late than never, Simon. Oh, very fitting this morning. Better late than never. We'll talk about that. And then the coordinating dies. <laughs> And then we, oh, in this one, we get another owl set look. But you get that beautiful tree background in there as well. And the coordinating dies. The die goes around those trees. So that's your three um, stamps and dies. Bearing in mind, 29 99 each. So three of those. A5 background stamp, which can incorporate in all your gents' cast. Another A5 background stamp. Then we get a stencil. Oops, a daisy, they're stuck together. Big stencil, seven by seven. Then we get another stencil. 
56.99 if you are in the club. That is the goodie bag. However, I've got a Brucey bonus for you all. If you buy Simon's bag today, I will send you for free a set of Eyes Inc. ink pads to get you going to work with Simon's because he always uses the ink pads and all of those lovely colours. So if you buy the bag today, you will be sent these worth £15 as well for absolutely nothing. So the value of the bag is £151.90. Today in the club, £56.99. If you have got those extra savings, you're going to get it for less than £50 and you're going to get £15 worth of Eyes Inc. Um, ink pads in there as well. Never a better time to try Have a Go Ink. If you have most of the products, still stay tuned because you may want to do the craft along with Simon as he does his demonstrations. Moving on, 100477. In fact, let me just show a few samples, if that's okay. A few of just uh, elements that you may get in your collection. So I'm just showing you all the fabulous Simon's designs. The owls. Let me just show you some of the lovely, lovely samples here. Absolutely gorgeous. I just flick through them. So you can see you've got your stencils, you've got your farmyard animals. Bear in mind, they all come with the coordinating dies, the um, stamps as well. So you're not going to be left on your own to figure it out or fussy cut. You have it all there for less than £50. Incredible price today, ladies and gents. We haven't had um, goodie bags for Simon before quite like this. So today... Whoop, is a great opportunity let me keep going because there's lots is a great opportunity for you to maybe try the lovely simon's design simon is live every monday at one o'clock has he does work he has a full-time job as well and it takes time to come at one o'clock every monday to give you some inspirational content using his fabulous design so if you're brand new to simon we are going to say hello in a second um he is live every monday one o'clock did you know did you know we are live over today and tomorrow 13 hours how incredible is that 13 hours so for today and over the weekend you're getting 13 hours of content from stamps by me yes i will need a break next week i'm only joking 13 hours how cool is that moving on we have something quite different but I've put this in Simon's show because I think it might get you all to pick up that brush. I'm in, uh, uh, an ambassador for trying to get everybody to watercolour. So I've put this one in. It's a little bit different, but it's so Simon's style. So you'll see he's got the quirky animals and things like that. Well, this is a book that's going to show you how to colour monkeys and elephants and jungle leaves and things like that. I'll do a quick flick for you. It's an incredible price as well. RRP 14 99 Today in the club, 12 34 Okay, 100479. Let me show you inside this book because it's a really cool book. And if this is the sort of style that you like, then let me pop it on the counter. It might help, Tim. Sorry. So at the back, it shows you all of the animals and things like that. If you want to learn to pop in, wet in wet techniques, paint the animals. Show you. Keep going, shall I? All different animals in the jungle. Then we have fish. Seahorses, leaves, crabs. Look at those, they're quite cool. I'll show you how to do some Christmas pines, rabbits, mushrooms, birds. Birds can be difficult, but obviously the bugs. We'll skip the bugs, they're not very nice. Dogs, cats, animals, lots to go out. And then it shows you how to incorporate them into maybe some night scenes and things like that. So it's a great starting point if you are a follower of books and watercolours. I know lots of you like to paint. Um, you've got lots of books from me. It shows you how to sort of sketch the designs here, just for instance there, and how to paint the detail in. 100479. So if you are thinking, do you know what, I'd like to paint a seahorse. I'm not quite sure how I'd do it. If you're like me, you'll collect the books and do them as you go. 100479, 1234 in the club. Now, moving down the counter, we have some top-up items, two of which are back in stock. So we have the lovely daubers, which everybody uses here in the How to Craft Network. So there's transparent ones that all stack together, super, super easy. And you can use them to do your ink blending, your edges, uh, spot techniques. They're just a cool piece of kit that you're probably going to need in your stash. 100186. I'm not going to talk too much about these. Probably most will know what they are. If you are in the club, 1614, and if you've got those um, points, or being an entrepreneur or a craft room 
um, status, then you're going to get them for £15. Moving down, 100186. So I always have to pop some wow in, don't I? And you know, I spoke about wow yesterday. Wow, our live in studio on the 29th, save the date. Marion Emberson is coming to the How to Craft Network to do some techniques. And she's going to be doing some marbling and some melting and some impression stamping. So exciting. Show us a whole new world of wow so we get them used. But today I have a starter kit for you. So if you've not got a single wow powder in your stash, great starting point. Black, white, sparkle, silver, gold and clear. Okay, so for the small pots, they last forever. I'm not going to get them out of the packet. Most of you will know what they are, but if you don't have the wows, these are a great starting point. You will always use your gold, your black, and your white. And I think a lot of people said that they like the clear as well. They use a lot of the clear one. So six pots there, 12.34 in the club, 100299. We will do a shout out. I'm nearly at the end. And the last one, which is back in stock, which is Carly's favourite. Simon's got his as well. I'm getting Simon to show you them because I don't want to open this because if they sell out and I've opened this, I can't sell it. So I'm going to talk about it very quickly. So this one is your Himmy Water Colour Palette, 1329. It's an amazing palette, highly pigmented, little goes a long way, just amazing. We've sold thousands of these, cannot keep them in stock. 100340, today in the club, 1324. So there we have, that is the full counter for you today. I'm just going to go over because now we're allowed. Don't want to get too close, I'm just going to move your trolley, Simon. So good morning, everyone. We're going to do, shall we do a quick, in fact, let's say hello to you first. That would help, wouldn't it? How are you doing? I'm all right, I'm here. Is, is here? <laughs> Panic on, 20 to the hour, we're like, oh, always like, honestly, I'm fine, I'm good to go, I'm, I just need to get my stuff out, like, right, okay, so good morning, sweetheart, thank you so much for taking the time to come, I won't be putting you in for a 10 o'clock slot again, don't no. you worry, <laughs> I'll give him a break, he's so busy, I can't tell you, so let's do a little bit of a shout out this morning, so I think Simon's been watching all the comments, but where are we all from, what's the weather like, have we had a Kit Kat, are we all ready to go for the day, because we've got a fabulous day lined up, so, hi, Tina. Hi, Karen. Hi, Tracy. A lot of these names follow you anyway, don't they, Simon? They do. Tracy, Roxy Lee, Amanda, Maureen, um, Tina, Karen, Bridget, Kirsty. Good morning, everyone. It's lovely for you to take the time to join. We've got some lovely demos lined up for you. And then over on Facebook, USA, we have Kim. We have Jeannie Quinn and... Morning, Tony. Hi, Tony. Looking forward to today. It's brilliant, isn't it? So it's our brand event where we have lots of event uh, brands in studio and they're all just individually independent and amazing. And I support all of the above. So let's, um, for those people who maybe don't know who you are, who are you? <laughs> I, I'm fine. I know who you are. I know. Right? You can't get rid of me. I know. <laughs> I'm Simon Emmy from Avago Inc. And we um, really try and get some creative products together to make it easy for you to start making your own cards on a bit of fun. So we always have a bit of um, a pun attached to them, so they're a bit funny, really. Uh, and the images are quite big as well, so it's easy to put together. You don't have to worry about having lots of little components. You can get a really impactful card. And do you know who your number one fan is? Your son. My son. Yeah. <laughs> My son, he is. And Tim. <laughs> when Tim's doing studio with Simon, he's like, did you see that card Simon made? It was so impressive. I'm like, oh, what about my cards? Do you know what I mean? What about my cards? It's like, he loves Simon's shows. And so does Tom. And when Tom's picking cards for his school friends or something, I'm like, shall we have a look in Simon's box? And we always pinch him out of Simon's box, take them to school. So, hi, Nikki. Good morning. Hi, Alison. Hi, Rini from the Netherlands. Lovely to for you to join us, Rini. Let us know where you are. Alison's from Warwickshire. Nikki as well and then we've got kelly good morning watch up tonight she's got she's been on nights as kelly bless her so she will catch up later have a good sleep sweetheart so we're going to get cracked straight on i'm going to move out of the way simon's going to get onto his first fabulous demo it looks cool by the way very bright and i'm going to make my way over there because i have something to announce later so i'll get out of your way and i'll leave it to you what are you going to do simon I thought I'd have a bit of fun with paper piercing today, just showing you that you don't necessarily need to colour in with your inks, you can put together your card. So this is a demo that I've put together using one of the um, nesting dies, an older one, I, thought, I forgot the name of it actually, the Stamps by Me range. But it's just a, showing you how you can use shaped nesting dies to make a card, I'm going to show you how to make a card bag that matches it as well. Oh, that looks nice, I quite like that. So let's get started. I love the pigs. I know, they're so comical, Cute. aren't they? 
Look really nice. So I'll think up my stamping platform first. I'm going to start off with a big scenery stamp. I think it's in that goodie bag that you showed as well. So. It is. I can't believe how I didn't actually know what Simon was demoing today. So obviously you might get this scene stamp, but for the value, he's got lots of background stamps, hills and trees and things. So you are going to be literally good to go. Incredible value. I cannot tell you. For, the, for this one, 100477, lots of you have it in your basket and that is amazing. I'm so, so pleased that you've invested in Avago because he's a fab, he's, He's been around, how long have you been around now, Simon? Two? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, coming up two years, isn't it? This, this year will be my second birthday. Two, and you're just at that stage where I was myself two years in going, how come people don't know who I am? I've been around two years, but do you know what? Still 12 years in, later for me, I go to Port Sunlight and people look at me and go, who are you? What channel are you on? What do you do? So I think it's just because we get brand new crafters every day. So if you are brand new to Simon today, you're in for a treat. So we're going to stamp this onto some blue paper and this is going to be um, our backdrop, background for our paper piercing. Let's get some of that ink on there. I love the big stamp this, I love it. A5. It's just, it's, it's really good but you could use it for, like you said, men's cards, I think you mentioned that earlier. Uh, you don't have to put characters on it, I think it's a really nice scene to play around with your watercolours on. Yeah. I'm going to go in again, just because it's textured paper, just to make sure we get all that detail. You could just stamp lots of those out and paint them. Have them all ready, especially yeah. if kids are coming over. Get all the scenes ready for all the animals they're going to create. And the name Avago is? Avago. It is what it is. Don't put it in a cupboard. <laughs> Get it out and have a go. It's from Barnsley, if anybody wonders. <laughs> so can what, you tell? Can, can you tell? <laughs> so. I've got some components that I've already cut out. And all we're going to do literally is we use this image as like a template so we can cut out the sections we need. This is my base one. I've already cut out different areas that I can stick over the top. We can build up them really colourful layers on that way. Oh, paper pieces. So rather than cut loads out today, I've already pre-cut them. Yeah. So they'll be a little bit faster for us all. So I'll just bring those in. I've got my glue, so we're just going to use some wet glue on this. I love that idea. I would have never thought to do that. Let's build it up on this way. It's really vibrant. So we've got Jeannie saying she can't wait to see what you're making this morning, Simon. Oh. She's excited. Good morning, Anthea from Tavistock in Devon. Brenda Danici says, Fab Stam. Hi, Roseanne. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Kirsty. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Audrey. Love the Yorkshire accent. It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> Donna says she's got a scarecrow stamp set that would look amazing on that background. I think It'd it's quite nice versatile. It like autumn colours, would not it? Oranges and browns. You're just putting these hills in. Not too bothered about the edges overlapping. I'm just going to chop those off in a second. Put this tree line in. I actually thought you'd painted that, Simon. No, I like it. I thought it's just added a bit of colour onto it, but then I think that would be silly because you can't paint onto blue card. Just that one in. Well, I never. And then we just need to get our last hills in. So I'm just going to push that to one side a second, bring up the sapping platform. <laughs> I've got a strip of green card. Let's just get those, that bottom of that stamp in place. Don't forget to share. I have a giveaway at the end of the show. So if you share, if you can see a share button, if you're watching on social media platforms, Facebook or YouTube, I have a giveaway on every show. I've got a lovely day lined up for you all, so make sure you tune in for every single show. Even if you're not buying, we're not bothered, we're not precious about it, come and say hello, because we've got a fabulous show lined up for you. Well, a fabulous day, for that matter. I'm just going to step this light hill at the bottom out, just using scissors. This is a good way to use your scraps, Simon. It's really good, and it's a good way as well to play around with like your pattern papers. 
Oh, yeah. Like stamp onto pattern paper and just get some really quirky effects. Let's get this last piece of background in place. There we go. You can see our little scene is building up really nice now. And I've got these clouds to pop on. You could make these three-dimensional as well if you want to put them onto foam pads, but I'm just going to keep this flat for this card design. Just a few more. We had a lovely time at Port Sunlight though, didn't we? A lot of, oh, lot of crafters just... came and said hello to me, so it was really nice to put some um, faces to names. Yeah, I paid them. They <laughs> <laughs> no. kept telling me about my magnet that you nicked. <laughs> you have, has everybody been grassing me up? That's bad. I did not pinch his magnet, he left it, and if you leave something in here, unfortunately, things go walkies. It's still like, I don't, every time it comes in, I hide it. <laughs> I ain't got it. Have you checked with Emma? Has Emma got it? <laughs> I would have to put my name on things like at school. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got our background done there. So what I'm going to do now is bring in the smaller nesting die to make sure I've got the right one before I do the wrong cut. So we're going to be cutting this scene out, you can see. So you can have a place where you want it to go. Oh. So I'm just bringing the plates to this... Um, I quit machine, so we'll get the right way around. Do you want me to come over just in case? Because it is a little bit tricky, isn't it? I might it's, need to tape it into place, won't I? Yeah, let me just, then, sorry, let so me get I'll out of your way. way I thought I'd come and help. It's better being with him, isn't it, than being on my own over there. It's best to be double checking, so it's mine, there's the other way at home. This yeah, one's this different, down, so yeah. I just want to make sure. And if it cuts into my magnetic mat, well, <laughs> let me tell you. Let's pop that there. I think that's good. That's it. That's putting blade down, so that can go no, that's that right. way. There, you go. there we go. I don't know. I think it's been used both ways. So that's it? fine. I'm going now. Yeah, I'm, I'm safe. I'm safe. <laughs> Pop that through so it cuts through. Is it turned on? Sorry. It's not on at the wall, Simon. So just while Simon's putting that through for you, don't forget to refresh your browser. Products are linked to the show, so if you're watching live on the website, all you need to do is... All you need to do is click shop the show. All the products will be below for everybody's shows today. So if you want to have a good look around, see what's coming ahead of the full day, then you can absolutely do that. But if you're wanting something specific, just click shop the show and all of the products for Simon's show will be there. Now the bag, uh, 100477 over half of the stock has gone okay. Um, so 56.99 today if you are in the club, if you have those extra savings. I would probably, if you are sitting on the fence, think, you know, I do buy crafty goodies for my friends for birthdays and things like that. They're £30 a stamp and die, so you get an incredible saving today. 100477. Has it cut okay? It's cut lovely. You didn't cut a hole in, you didn't give me a fridge magnet? No. Okay, we'll see. Where's my black pen? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to make a card bank that matches this shape. So um, it's quite simple, this, but some people may have never done it. So let's show you how we're going to do it. Got a piece of black card and I folded that in half. And then you're going to put your die just overlapping the edge so you've got a crease there. And that way you'll not get two shapes, you'll get them conjoined in the middle. So I'm just going to get my tape again. Just in front of your die. Do the eye test. You have to do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just pop that down with some. So we've Same. got Crafty Seas. We have new watcher today. Just found you on Facebook. What an amazing channel. So many independent crafters love it. Thank you so much. We do encourage crafty brands, crafty faces, and we just try and give you some fabulous content as well. So thank you so much for taking the time to come and say hello this morning. We've got a lovely day lined up. Why is it? it takes? feels like it takes for hours. Hello. It is fast, I've got to say. So let's just, oh, look at that. Two pieces of card, it's cut through like butter. That's good. Yeah, it's a good one. So then that has created our card blank look. You can see, oh, so, we'll to stand that up. So and just, that's going to match our card lovely that we're creating. Just to clarify, you hung the die over the hinge of the yeah, card. Yeah, so over the crease line, 
Um, sorry, I'll, you I'll can do that with any. Place. Can you do that with any die? Can you hang it over the? Hip? Any shape die. So you get really interesting cards like heart shapes and your stars, things like that. Nice. And then what you're going to do is sometimes by doing this, you can see you lose a little bit of detail on the edge of the card. Uh, I'll do my shape. You can see it probably a bit brighter. So that little slot there. So what we're going to do now is actually make a template to go to the front. Then we get a shape back to where it should be. So I've got a plain piece of black card. Just going to put that down. And then pop that through. Donna says she's definitely cut into a magnetic sheet before, Simon. That, well, that's where you end up with nice fridge magnets, isn't it? They're it is. I tell you, I've had fridge more magnets. fridge magnets than you can shake a stick at, I swear. It's a nightmare. You've got to be so careful. And if you're in a rush, just use a hand crank. It's just easier. <laughs> oh. Hello. There we go. So now we've got the shape. Let's move that to one side. Oh, this is coming together so nicely. So let's just start this layering this up. I'm going to put some glue onto my card blank. And I can stick the front on that, and that'll just get our shape back at the top to hide the hinge. Make sure that's all level and nice. And we've got our lovely scenery panel that we've just created. You can see that's going to sit really nice in that nesting area. Let's get that glued down. Oh, I, I really like this. It's just something I wouldn't normally do, but it's lovely. So easy, though, isn't it? Yeah. And like you said, brilliant for your scraps. Pop that into place. And then for the little sentiment area, what I've done is actually use the nesting die again. And I've chopped out, I'll just grab it from here. I've just chopped out this arch at the top. Okay. And that's going to complement the same as the actual, the actual sides. Okay. That'll give us a nice little sentiment area to stand out. Good so idea. That's what we're going to use that area for. So let's put the black bit on first. Put that into there. I'm going to bring the stamping platform back up for the sentiment. I'm doing well here with white card and no ink on it yet. Yes. <laughs> this time. I've got to say. I'm going to go with the Hobbs and Kisses, which is a lovely little sentiment in that set. Use the black ink. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Lots of new of it, lots of new people on today, which is incredible. Thank you so much. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. There's a little bell as well. It'll give you that notice every time we are live, which is most days. And over the course of this weekend, we are live for 13 hours. So if you're at home and you're wanting some inspiration, then come and say hello. Put that on there, hugs and kisses. And then I brought some of the little cute piggies. And I'm just going to finish our card up. So I'm just going to move this sampling platform out of the way so you can see. And I've brought some foam pads for these. I think that's going to be the best thing. Just give them a bit of height. But equally, you're using the pigs here, Simon, but you could use the farmyard, the owl. You could use whatever. You could. Because you've designed them in such a way, haven't you, that they'll fit. And all the thing of is, the as well, scenes. like with the um, stamp sets, you get all the little extras like the spades, the forks, the flowers. So you, you can could build, build that scene you know, yeah. as much as you want to. Let's have that little one just strolling off there. <laughs> you can see why I didn't want he to cut it all like out. He looks like he's having a great day. <laughs> I want to be that little piglet right oh, there on the so left. Happy, oh, hang on. Uh... Let's have a look at him. No, I'm still the one on the left. <laughs> he's swinging his legs. And there we go. That is so Cute. nice. I love that. So, totally different way of using that background stamp. I would have never thought to do that. Really cool. So if I'm inspired, I'm sure the ladies and gents and friends and family at home are also feeling inspired. Thank you so much, Simon. I'll give you a second to get ready for another demonstration. Just go through, I'm not going to go through the whole counter, but I'm going to go through a couple of the items that are super popular, one of which is the goodie bag. So I'll just show you what's in the goodie bag while Simon gets ready. I've got my book out. I can't tell you why I've got my book out, but I have my book out. And I'll tell you in a second. So in the goodie bag, we get, you're going to get, um, it might be a different change of stamp, but you will always get in the bag three times stamp and coordinating dies, two A5 stamps and two stencils. And then you've got that Brucey bonus of that free gift that I'm throwing in there as well for you. So let me just show you what I've grabbed here. So we have 
this one here. So this is sort of a dinosaur design with the eggs. And you, as Simon states, you get all of the little embellishments to make it better. So fill it up, build scenes and things like that. So you get there wishing you to excellent, a to excellent day. Raw means I love you in dinosaur. And you get the pebbles and footprints. And then you get the complimenting dies in the background there. So you've got everything there. So that's one. And I did say you get three, so let's have a look at the next one. This is just in this bag, so you might get some elephants, you may get some farmyard animals, you may get some fish. So here are some owls, look, you are such a hoot. It's your birthday. I'm Talone, everyone. And they've got complimenting dies in the back, so that's your second one. And then we get a third one. It's another owl one on this occasion with the backgrounds and the cups of coffee. How are you brewing? I'll, I'll be there for you. You are hootiful. And then the complimenting die. So there's your three stamps and die sets. Then you get two A5 backgrounds. In, fortunate enough, in this one, we have that background that Simon's just used there. Now, if you're to go buy these, those stamps and dies are £30 each. This is £16.99. So if you have your points or you are buying for the first time, you get an incredible savings. Another background here, which is the sort of firework design there. A5 in design as well. You also get two eight seven by seven stencils. So we have swirls. Could be used in so many ways, whichever way you use that one. And then we have this one, which has got the lovely like coffee cups. There we go. And then if you do purchase it for absolutely nothing, I am sending you a full set of eyes ink ink pads worth fifteen pounds, just to say thank you for investing in Simon today. So. The savings, the value is incredible, okay? Let's just pop that away. Over half the stock has now gone of this one, 100477. Now, that is super popular. Then I want to just talk about one more quickly, which is your Himmy palette on the end, 100340. I'm just going to move do a live walk. And it's this one here, back in stock. These never stay in stock, super affordable, 1329 in the club. And Simon's got his out on his. Will you actually show yours in a second, Simon? Yeah, I'll be using it for these characters anyway. Brill. 100340. You get the watercolour brush in the back. So you literally, I mean, the brush is in there as well for £13. Okay, 100340. This is not going to be around for long. We sold thousands of these. And if it sells out today, which it probably will, Always, always, always go and click the notify me when back in stock button because this allows me to understand how many more I need to order. It keeps us relevant and it keeps me from having little stock or too much stock in my building. So if you could take one minute of your time to click the notify me on any of our products, it helps me figure out what we need and what we don't. So that is your Himmy watercolour palette, 1329 as a club member. So what we're going to do next, Simon? Well, I've got this lovely, cute card using one of the embossing folders. I just wanted to show you it pairs with the other stash that you may have got. Oh. I'm going to show you how to get a little bit of a colour indent into the actual grain of the stock. Okay. So, have an utterly really fast card, this brilliant one. day. No, utterly brilliant. Utterly brilliant. Utterly brilliant. So I've got one of the... Um, in fact, I'll just put a piece of card on there, but I'll see what I'm doing then this way. So I've got the um, embossing folder, which don't want to open. There you go. There's a lot of detail on this. What I want to do is I'm just going to use, I'm not going to re-ink these. I'm going to use what's left on the actual ink here, but these are the eyes ink pads. I'm going to use the purple over where the flowers are. So I'm just going to give them a little bit of a rub just to build up a little bit of that colour. It's very soft, but you might, I don't know if you can pick that up on camera. Is this on the raised part or the uh, shallow part? Uh, you can do it either side, really. Don't matter. You, you can okay. do it either side, but you'll get a different effect. Okay. So... Uh, I'm going to use the blue over the square areas, just to give it a little bit of difference. And I've got a bit of green just for where the leaves line up. I'm not being too precise, I just want to get them colours roughly lined up with where they would be. I'm just going to do and some more shouts out on Facebook because I've got some more people joining in. We've got Andrea Chase, bonjour, stuck in rural France with no Wi-Fi. Oh, lots of, from HGCN to catch up on when I return to the UK. I've missed you all. Oh, we're looking forward to you coming back, sweetheart. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Alison. Hi, Bernadette. Good morning. 
Emma. Emma says, Tony, me and Tom are going for a walk. <laughs> okay, enjoy, don't be long. Um, happy birthday, Emma. Great card, Simon. Enjoy. Oh, having... thank you. Right, so you're going to ask me now which plates, <laughs> aren't you? I think I've just removed that one, so it looks the same thickness. We give it a go. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm moving out of the way in case it explodes. It, it can only go wrong once, can't it? It's going, it's, it's going. It's going. <laughs> See what we've got. Oh, look at that. Yummy, yummy. Look at so all that texture you get in there now. So, this is one of mine, I believe. It is. It's Geo. <laughs> Florals, Florals, yeah. Florals. So, this one is on the website. Check that one out. Just go to the embossing folders if you like this one. That is so pretty. It's just nice, and it adding that bit of colour as well with them flower heads are, which really brings it together. So let's get this onto a card blank now. So I'm just simply using a, a blue that's just going to bring out those ink colours a little bit. Let's get that onto our hard blank first. Could use foam pads as well if you want to give it a bit more dimension, but I'm going to do the base layer flat to the card. And we'll give this one glue down. Make sure we've got a nice border all the way around. Stacey says, there's so much beautiful and amazing stuff to choose from. Uh, a list is getting bigger every day, but she's loving everything. You wish she had pennies for everything. Listen, I always say to you guys, unless you absolutely know you're going to use it, don't buy it. If you're not inspired when you see it, don't buy it, because you'll not use it, honestly. You've got to feel that. Oh, I could do this, I could do that because then it's a good purchase isn't it so and um, because we sell so many products we have quite a few brands as well you know we don't expect you to buy them all so if you're sitting at home and you're thinking i would definitely use that then it's going to be a great purchase but if you start thinking hmm i'm not sure just leave it be because next week there will be something else for you to look at so i'm just going to do my sentiment and my characters all in one go that's the beauty of in a uh, stamping platform in so it can line it all up and do it in one. Is that my magnet? It's one magnet, so it's nine now. <laughs> <laughs> the other one you must have lost. <laughs> so we've got our little cow that's like stro um, strolling across and our rabbit on this one. And then we've got the have an ugly brilliant day because it matches the cow. So I'll get these stamped out. So this, these stamps that Simon's using, you may get them in your goodie bag. Um, we're not holding back on any of the designs. You could have any of the designs, but most certainly you will definitely get three stamps and coordinating dies, two large A5 background stamps and two 7x7 stencils. Oh, and the packet of eyes ink, uh, ink pads also. To, so you've got something to play with straight away. I'm just going to take that out now. And then I'm going to get my watercolours and I'll show you these watercolours. This is amazing, I've got to say. Yeah. Let's get a lovely range of colours in there. Oh, so My nice. favourite is the skin tone, I've got to say. It's so versatile, like, it's not too heavy. It really just lifts your design. So, especially with the, like, the Japanese girls from the Evergo range. Yeah. It's a really perfect colour just to put on for the skin tone. You don't have to work it out, it's already there for you. And the, I think it's a bit different, it's more like a cream. So, when you want to activate them with a bit of water, so let's have a think what colours we're going to use. Let's activate the pink. It kind of goes more into a creamy texture. They are semi-moist, aren't they? They which, are. Which means they're already sort of pre-mixed, which means they're not like a pan, which is you have to activate. They're sort of semi-moist in some sense, but they are very creamy, which can give you sort of a transparent or an opaque look if you build up the colour. But for £13, I wouldn't stock them if I didn't think they were amazing. They sell and sell and sell. They're amazing. So let's get this little cow a bit of colour. So we're going to give it a nice pink nose. I'm using some like mixed media card as well here, so it's got a little bit of texture to it. We'll just put that in there. I always see like a little hidden frog's head there. <laughs> You'll see what's so, like a little frog's head, the pink bit. 
just, just me then. I'm never going to look at that in the same way now. It looks like... <laughs> oh, gosh. Or just little hooves. Great tip there for you. I'll, I'll just give you a quick tip while Simon's painting that. As you can see there, Simon's using a grey. But if you want to make something look white, say you're painting a daisy or a flower, that you want it to look white, add an accent of grey or purple or blue. Very, very lightly, it will make your flower look white. I've shown it so many times, and it's a great sort of cheat, hack, whatever you want to call it, for making things look white. Add a touch of grey, purple or blue. Give a bit of orange colour to this little bell that's around his neck. I can't believe we've got people from all over the world tuning in, it's lovely. Well, you know, we are global now, Simon. I'll deliver your stamps for a small cost. <laughs> yeah, we'll come and stay with you all. <laughs> now let's get a bit of colour on this little rabbit, so I think we're going to go for a nice brown. Build him up a little bit. Jeannie says that card is absolutely lovely, Simon. Love watching YouTube on TV. Farmyard animals are so cute. Yes, Simon, that everybody else sees a frog as well. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> the two for one. That cow is cute, Chris Atkinson says. That cow is quite cute, actually. We all have our favourites, though, don't we? I know. So out of all of your designs so far, what's your favourite so far, Simon? Do you think? Have you got a favourite? Or do you like them all? I think my dinosaurs. But only because it was my very first collection. Yeah. And I, I will, like, really... Really um, rewarding to see that come to yeah. fruition. So. I like dinosaurs too. Give him some little cheeks there. A little bit more darkness into his this little paw, so it breaks it up a little bit. There we go. So I'll give that a quick blast with a heat gun to make sure it's not too wet. So we're looming towards um, the end of the show because we have Sam Tangle next. So exciting. Totally different to Simon. I think a few of you have been following her. She's um, on Create and Craft like me. Um, but the goodie bag is disappearing fast. So fast, I cannot tell you. When it's gone, it's gone. However, if it sells out, when you check later, because sometimes they bounce back, I, I try not to take them. If they're sat in people's baskets for over an hour, I do take them out because I get bullied. You all message me going, is there any in anybody's baskets? So I, after an hour, I do take them out. So don't leave them sat in your basket for an hour, will you? If you can, if at all possible. Um, but always check back later because sometimes I have to take them out of people's baskets and four or five, six, seven might get loaded back on later as well. So what we're doing next? I'm going to just chop out these little fellas down with the dies that you get that coordinate. Oh, and it's, it's just brilliant having those dies, isn't it, Simon, to cut them out. It's just quick, it's fast, and for, you know, I just love having the dies. Although, you know, I am an ambassador of trying to not put dies in things to keep cost as, as low as we possibly can, but equally, when they are there, they do work. We've got our... Nesting die that's going to house our sentiments. Let's get that die cut at the same time. Might as well do one pass and get everything finished. I'm doing well with this. I'm not going to cut it yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> and then we've got our blue that we match our card blank to bring it all back together. Let's put that on there as well. And we'll send that all through so we get all the components cut in one. Now, I've got a good question on the chat here from um, Lindsay, basically saying, if she gets duplicates in a bag, can she do a swaps on the Eureka page? Now, when we said yes last time to that on our Eureka fan page, poor Karen got sent into a meltdown because everybody was sort of on the page, swapping, it was all chaotic, and then we got lots of messages saying the swap never happened and things like that. I would probably say, if you're going to do swaps, put on just one line, on, no pictures, pop one line onto the Eureka fan page and just put 
does anybody want to do some swaps? And then you can have the private conversation yourselves. It's just, it's really difficult for me and my design team to manage it when it goes horribly wrong because sometimes people were falling out and swaps were going on and double swaps were going on. But I'm happy for you to put a one line on and say, is anybody interested in swapping some stamps? If so, PM me. I'm happy for you to do that. And then you can have the private conversation yourselves about maybe duplicates you may have and you can take pictures and send them to each other privately. Is that okay? Just becomes a little bit chaotic for poor Karen if we, if we do it any other way. So this card's coming together nicely. It is now. We're on the final stages. So we're just going to get our sentiment glued onto this. I love nesting dies though, that make it all match so easily. They're an asset, aren't they? They really are, a good investment, aren't they? That's our... And you will all have them at home. You will all have them as crafters. And let's get some big dive um, foam pads onto the back of that. And we'll go into the centre, I think, just so it just then breaks that design up a little bit. And then we'll get our friendly cow at the bottom. And I'll get ink on it at the last stage. <laughs> <laughs> you knew you would. Get our little, just walk a little bit off. I think it looked nice that way. And then our cute little rabbit at the top. Sit on the sentiment. And finally, I've just got some sequins that I've got in my stash that are in the same kind of blue colours that we've been using on the card. So I'm just going to just scatter these into the centre of the flowers that we can see. Don't need to do them all, but it just gives a little bit of sparkle. Can't go wrong with a bit of sparkle. There you go. Do you want to put both cards up, Simon? Show us both. I will. I'll just. That's that one. There nice cards, guys. Oh, do, we all, do we all like those? Thank you so much, Simon. Really creative. I love the first card. So that does round up show one with fabulous Simon from Avago Inc. We do have other shows lined up for you. But before I tell you about those other sh shows coming up, I have a little bit of a game. Now, if you want to win, a £20 voucher for Stamps by Me. I have a question. Okay, are we ready? So the question is, how many paper pieces did Simon do on his first card? All you need to do is pop the answer underneath this video when we've gone off air. How many different coloured paper pieces did Simon stick on this card? Not including the sentiment and not including the two pigs just the background, how many pieces. And I will be picking winners in Studio 3 over the course of this weekend for a £20 voucher. I have this sort of thing going on all throughout the course of today. So let's tell you what's lined up. Please get involved. It's going to be a fabulous day. So what have we got next? We have Sandra, who is on at 11.30 from Santangle, another beautiful show lined up for you. Then we have Emma from Thirsty Brush, and after that we have Sarah from Funky Fossil. Whatever you're doing, stay tuned. I'll see you in half an hour with the lovely Sandra. See you later, everyone. Thanks. Bye, guys.